Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Coffee Time. So in this episode, I want to show you guys a little bit of research that I recently just discovered from UChicago. It's actually coming from one of our previous professor, professor of accounting. His name is Valery Nikolov, and as long as he's amazing TA Alex Kim. And the research is essentially to introduce this novel idea to use large language model inside of financial statements and then to take advantage of that information to create some sort of portfolio arbitrage so that you can generate the alpha to beat the market. So with that being said, I just want to use this video to dive into what I believe is important, it's interesting. And with that being said, let's get started. So this is a website for our professor, Valeri. For those of you who took the class, that's him. And his personal website is this. So once you click on the personal website, it will bring you to this page. And in the bottom, this is link called companyinsight.ai. So if you click on that link, it will take you to here that says begin analysis. So this is interesting because this is actually a tool that's powered by OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo. And it presents seven topics for each firm, ranging from financial performance to value drivers, things like that. And it provides an overall summary of earnings called transcripts. And it actually covers 500 firms in the S&P 500 from April 2023 to September 2023. Now, the good thing about this is they actually have a small user interface that I believe is interesting. And they actually have information directly from earnings call, that's the AI summary. And then they actually use generative AI to provide the insights and the analysis. So let's click on some random company, let's say Apple and I can pick a quarter, right? So maybe I start with Q2 and then I can select a topic. So I'll just go with zero, zero earnings call overview and then I'll select a summary and I click go and this is a document that I've seen. There's an introduction page that says Apple held an earnings call and then there's a presentation highlights, revenues, what's going on with the company's records, things like that. And then in the end, there's a Q&A highlights. So in the very bottom, you can actually collect the survey of how much should the audience like this kind of interface or this kind of information by selecting stars. Now, for example, if I like it, I'll give a five star and then I believe they actually collect the data in the back end. So I thought this is interesting and let's try something else. Say financial performance and then it actually gives me uh, three outcomes. So I say start with AI summary, that's the AI summary, uh, but what if I want to see the insight? So this actually give me the insight of the earnings call but it's actually summarized by Gen AI. So I thought it was interesting and me personally, I read it over. I thought it's pretty informative and pretty efficient, I might add, depending on your personal background, depending on how much time you have. I think you can probably have a voiceover and then listen to it while you do something else. And it'll probably take you a minute to finish this entire reading. And last but not least, I wanna show you guys AI score and then you can go down here and you actually have this nice visualization saying the quarter average is four, but the firm score is 4.5. Uh, so it kind of beating the average a little bit. Now I thought that's something interesting. I have to actually dive deeper of how that number is calculated. But I think in general, this is actually a very interesting use case to take advantage of generative AI, to take advantage of large language model. And I might be wrong on this, but I think if you are a hedge fund manager or some sort of portfolio manager, this tool might be very useful for you, just simply because the sheer volume of information you have to read as a portfolio manager every quarter, every season. If you have this kind of tool, you can probably condense the research period much more. Now, of course, that being said, uh, the downside is should you only rely on this information, right? My personal opinion is uh, you should probably think about the information summarized here by Gen AI uh, from a critical perspective rather than just buying user records. Now, of course, the good thing about uh, this research team is that they actually have paper out there to kind of walk you through how things are done and how they can create a portfolio to take advantage of this information and to basically come up with a portfolio that be the market. So with that being said, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it demonstrates interesting use case to leverage large language model in your fundamental research. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next episode.